Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. This will be a cute thing which you can wear as a loop scarf, you can wear it as a cape or just simple as a scarf. I'm going to use the Vulpedia Colors model yarn. This is just a simple color without gradient. That's a three ply yarn and for a European size 3638 you will need approximately 1500 meters. You will also need scissors, a tapestry needle and a crochet hook. This is a 4 mm size. Please find all the relevant links in the video description. I will show you a miniature size, but the concept is the same. So you can crochet this tube thing for any person and any size. Start by forming a ring. Put the long strand under the ring and pull it through the ring. You'll get a loop. Now insert your hook and tighten. Make sure your stitches are loose for the beginning chain. Now we're going to chain stitches for this yarn over and pull through. That's number one. Yarn over and pull through and so on. You don't have to count stitches. Continue to chain stitches until your chain is big enough. It should be as long as your head size and it should be longer to have enough space for pulling the tube thing over your head. It should be very comfortable and not tight. If you're in doubt, crochet more stitches than less. Here you can see the real size, the opening is our starting chain. I will stop here, it's enough for demonstration. This will be row 1. We're not joining to a ring because you could twist the chain easily. We'll join it later. For a one crochet wrong double crochet. Enlarge your loop, hold it with your finger and wrap the hook around the loop. Then yarn over and pull the yarn under this wrap. Yarn over and pull through two. And that's our wrong double crochet. Now we're going to crochet only double crochets. For this yarn over, go through the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. You have two loops left. Yarn over and pull through two. And that's our double crochet. Wrong double crochet, double crochet. One more time, yarn over, Go through the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and pull through two. Continue to crochet double crochets across the row. And that's row one. Now we're going to join the stripe to a ring. This way we can crochet in the round and get a tube. We're going to turn our work after each round. This will give you a straight seam. Now stitch through the first stitch of the row. That was our wrong double crochet. 
You can see the V's on top and we have to get the whole V, both loops of a stitch. Now yarn over and pull the yarn through all loops on your hook. That's a slip stitch. Now we're going to crochet in joining rounds. That means we will begin and join every round to have an even work. So for the next round we're starting again with a wrong double crochet. Enlarge your loop, hold it with your finger, wrap around the stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through too. Now crochet a double crochet. Insert your hook through the next stitch and grab both loops. Continue to crochet only double crochets across the round. We are at the end of our round, all stitches are done, we want to get our tube thing bigger. For this we have to increase. We are going to increase all the way through the first stitch, that's the wrong double crochet stitch. That means we use one stitch for two new stitches. This way we will have one stitch more after each round and our tube thing will grow. Now one double crochet through the first stitch and then we can join this round by slip stitching. Stitch through the wrong double crochet and use both loops. Yarn over and pull through all loops. Our first row is still open. We will sew this later. For the next round, turn your work. Crochet a wrong double crochet. and then double crochets across the round. This round is nearly finished. I finished the last stitch and here we have the stitch for the wrong double crochet. Don't forget to increase and to crochet a double crochet through the first stitch. Now join the round. Then again turn your work, crochet a wrong double crochet and continue to crochet double crochets across. And that's the whole pattern! You can see we started with less stitches, now we have more. And we have a bevel shape. I want to show you a small sketch. For the tube thing and the right fitting it's good to know which size you have. If you have a small size just use the pattern as shown, nothing changes. We started on top and we have one increase in each round. That way you get the bevel shape on one side. If you have a bigger size, I would recommend to increase twice in each round. That means that you increase once here and one on the opposite side. I'm going to show you how to do this. You start as usual. Don't forget to turn your work.
fold your work in between and have a look if you reach the opposite side. We have two more to crochet. So we finished the half round and now we're going to increase. For this we crochet one double crochet into the next stitch. And a second double crochet through the same stitch. Afterwards continue to crochet double crochets across the round. And at the end of the round you have the usual increase as already shown. Then join your round by slip stitching. Now you have two increases in the round and you will get the bevel shape on each side. Continue to crochet this way until your tube thing is long enough. You decide which lengths you want. And if your tube thing is long enough, then we can sew all the short ends. Let's assume this one here is long enough. Then we're going to pull the yarn through the last stitch, cut the yarn, pull it through and tighten. Now we're going to sew the original tube thing. Use your tapestry needle for sewing and sew on the inside of your work. Many thanks for watching, hope this pattern is helpful, have fun and post your work on Facebook. Until next time, bye bye!